Welcome to Yolo, Texas. And this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Look tamale in there. I don't know why I was so surprised about that. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, YOLO! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, and welcome to YOLO Texas, your go-to guide to all the places that put the great in the great state of Texas. I'm your host AC and on today's show we are headed to Austin to check out a culinary hotspot that's redefining the neighborhood donut shot. And after that we are unleashing our inner acrobats at Empowered Acro Yoga. But first up, we got word that there was a little place down in Lake Hills that has perfected the Texan art of the bar and grill. So you know we definitely had to check it out. Welcome to Lake Hills, Texas. This Bandera County of about 5,000 people is well known to folks from the area as a great place to get out and hang out on the Medina Lake. So this is Lake Hills, Texas. Get it? Lake, Hills, Lake Hills, Texas. is a hot spot for recreational boaters and fishermen and is especially known for its well-stocked bass, carp, and trout. And it's all thanks to a marvel of 20th century engineering. And that's because Medina Lake isn't actually a natural lake. It's a reservoir created by this, the Medina Dam. Or as I like to say, Medina Dam! The dam was constructed in 1913 and at the time was the largest concrete dam in the country and is now in the National Registry of Historic Places. But you know, we're not here to talk about going fishing and dams. Let's go find this bar. And down a few windy roads near the edge of town, you'll find a hard to miss sign that lets you know you've arrived. Yep, got a pretty good feeling about this place. Nice looking patio and a TV to watch the game. Oh yeah. From the outside, it has all the looks of a perfect small town country bar, but inside there's games, dancing, and live music, and that authentic charm you just can't get in the city. Alrighty, so I'm here with Dave Jr., one of the many owners here at Four Way Bar and Grill. You work with your dad and your two other brothers. And how did it all get started? We've been coming to this lake our whole life. Um, about two years ago in 2016, uh, we found the places available. My uncle had been involved in the hospitality and bar industry his whole life. Uh, so we ended up getting the place and uh, we've been rocking it ever since 2016. Nice, so what all do you have in store in the kitchen? We got a nice array of anything starting from salads, fresh fish, handheld sandwiches, all the way to a nice steak dinner plate, um, and of course our main seller is burgers. Wonderful. All right, I know um, I'm about to get my hands dirty and maybe do a little food demo in the back, try out one of these burgers. So, hey, that's uh, what we're good at. Awesome. Which one do you suggest? Dirty Dave's Hangover Burger. Perfect. All right, so Hippie is a one-man band here. He's gonna take us through on making one of the popular burgers. Dirty Dave's Hangover Burger. All right, what's all in it? It's got a third pound patty, uh, lettuce, tomato, onions, uh, pickle spear on the side, bacon, two slices of cheese, and an over easy egg on top. Bacon and an egg, that's what I'm talking about. All right, first things first. Third pound fresh patty, locally sourced. Smells good already. What kind of cheese would you like on your burger? American? We got American cheddar, Fontina, pepper jack, or Swiss. Cheddar and pepper jack, let's do it. Got mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato. Two slices of tomato, some chopped onion. Get our egg started. Look at that, that looks yummy. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner right there. You gotta taste it, so good. Hippie, you make one hell of a burger. This is delicious. It. And a french fry, pretty good. All right. There you go. And if that wasn't enough, the menu's jam-packed with Texas-sized dinner plates and a burger list that would make the trip just worth it on its own. 
All right, now that I've taken a look at the menu, and before I get my hands dirty and get a bite to eat, I think a beer's needed first. Hello. How's it going, sweetheart? I get for you. I would like a good old fashioned Ziegenbach. Just a, just a Ziegen? Ziegenbach, that's fine. Just a Ziegenbach. How's it going tonight? It's going good. All right, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers y'all. The vibe is laid back, the folks are friendly, and they had a game with my name on it. All right, so now that I got my beer, naturally most people would play pool, those go hand in hand, but I'm pretty terrible at this game, so I see some arcade games that I have a better chance of winning at. But a cold beer and a round of pool are just the beginning of what makes Four Way Bar and Grill so special. The atmosphere, small, you know, it's kind of like home. All my friends are here about it, you know, we're all having a good time and the prices are great and the food is good, you can't complain about it, you know. It's my first time here and so far, so good. The menu's great, I'm looking forward to my ribeye. I already got my drink, so I'm looking forward to a nice evening. We pick a country road to drive down and go all over Texas and today this is where we landed. And it's our lucky day because there's live music. I mean, we're in Texas, everything's big in Texas. So uh, the food is great. They have the big mic challenge, um, and as well as uh, good for good beers and uh, cheap. If you want a cool little chill spot that's, you know, you can bring the kids out and you can have a good time whether you're an adult or not, it's a good place to come. Exactly, yeah. Support your local, your local bar around here. Yep. It's good. And to truly test whether this place can lay claim to being a true Texas bar and grill is when the sun goes down, the music gets loud, and the dance floor fills up. And at the four-way bar and grill, they definitely delivered. All right, I'm sold. I absolutely love this place. The food was great, the people, they're even better. So next time you're in Medina Lake, make sure to give Four Away Bar and Grill. Give it a shot. Tell me if he sent you. In the meantime, I'm going to go back inside and have myself another cold one. See ya. Want to check out their list of upcoming live events and a complete menu? Go to fourwaybarandgrill.com for more information. Don't go anywhere just yet, y'all, because up next, we're headed to Austin to check out Voodoo Donut in a town that likes to do things its own way. It's coming up right here on Yellow Texas. Hey, y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so imagine it's 2 a.m. and you've had a long night out with friends, and then you see it. A 24-hour donut shot that's serving up some of the most mind-bending, mouth-watering donuts you've ever tasted. Sound too good to be true? Well, up next, our resident expert JB Sauceda takes us on a delicious journey to one legendary establishment that takes the everyday donut to a whole new dimension. Today I'm on Austin's world famous 6th Street where in college I spent a lot of time chasing down cheap beer. But this morning I'm looking for something you wouldn't expect to find in this area, breakfast. Only a few blocks from our beautiful state capital, you'd find the eclectic voodoo donut. Let's go. Welcome to Voodoo Donut. Opened in Austin just two years ago, this Portland-based company has been making a name for itself for over a decade, delighting customers far and wide with its funky decor, friendly staff, and of course, it's one of a kind assortment of decadent donuts. So we are here inside Voodoo Donut and I am with Jester Woo. and she is going to tell me a little bit about how you guys got started. Cool. Uh, so we have two owners. So Trace owned this really, really famous uh, venue called X-Ray Cafe and Cat Daddy was like a wrestler announcer and they were like two really good friends and one day they were like, Dude, there's no donut shops in downtown Portland. Three years later, they found this little hole in the wall in Portland and they started making donuts. I don't think that it's a coincidence that y'all are located next to a bunch of bars on the busiest kind Always. Of, uh, crazy street <laughs> in the city of Austin. So uh, y'all are open 24 hours, is that correct? 
And uh, what's what's the most like popular type of donut at two o'clock in the morning when all the bars let the crazies out? The old dirty bastard. Okay. It's a chocolate donut with Oreos and peanut butter, okay. and it's everyone's indulgence here. So what what goes into like the creative process in making these donuts? Is there? Oh, I think it's just all of our crazy, unique minds that come together. Every month we have like a special, unique donut that you know either the staff gets to you know have an opinion in, or you know we make these extravagant extravagant centerpieces. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of our own personal creativity that goes into it. Yeah, I saw when I was walking through that you guys had a bunch of uh, LP albums like over yes. on the, mm -hmm. the side. It does is music and influence at all? I would say that voodoo is like really um, consumed in pop culture and music. Yeah. Like that is what we are. Cool, so I heard you guys are hiring and might need some extra help in the kitchen. I'd love to try <laughs> out my hand. Uh, I These hands, I, I can't say have ever designed a donut before, but I'd like to give it a try. All right, let's so, do it. So uh, can we head back there and do it? Let's do it. Awesome. Yeah. Next up, I headed to the kitchen for a quick lesson on making the perfect voodoo donut. Let's just say I was no pro. So tell me a little bit about how you guys approach the voodoo doll donut. So we have some rules. Okay. Rule one, your voodoo doll can never smile. Okay. Ever. Because right. they're supposed to be sad, they're right. being stabbed. Right. Um, two colors um, and a pretzel stick. Okay, and a the pen. pretzel. The Pretzel stick is the pen. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, what do most people come in here asking to have put on a voodoo doll? You get a lot of sports teams, obviously, here in okay. Texas. All right. And then uh, for like Halloween, we turn them into skeletons and like goofy stuff like that. Sometimes you can turn it upside down and like put eyes right here and make a little alien. Okay. You know, girls in bikinis. Okay. You, know, you name it, you can kind of do it. I'm not gonna put any hair because I'm gonna pretend that this person's balding. So, I'm just gonna do maybe a swirl on his belly. Unfortunately, voodoo donut making wasn't quite my forte. Yeah, your uh, your technique is a little uh, a little better than mine. Cheers. So, cheers. Can you walk me through some of the other uh, yep. selections that people can buy off the shelf? Like, uh, what's this one right here? So right there you have the Portland cream. You got your dirt, that's the vanilla and Oreo. What from is this one? Marshall Mathers. The Marshall Mathers, mm -hmm. covered in M&Ms. Uh, so right there you got your bacon maple bar. Old Dirty Bastard, okay. or ODB, the whatever ODB. you want to call it. What is this um, megaphone that we have here? It's a blunt. A blunt, okay, um, oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's a blunt, or if for little kids' birthday parties, ice cream cones. Don't think this is uh, one you guys carry often it seems like y'all may have made it for uh, my visit today, which Maybe. I'm pretty excited about. Okay, so can we dig in? Cool. I'm gonna go with this one. That's delicious. Diabetic coma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One giant sugar rush later, and it was time for me to choose my top three favorites. Yeah, that's fantastic. I'm gonna call my top three are probably the ODB, the maple... Bacon. Bacon, and... I think it's a tie between the Captain, my Captain, and the Blunt. I that, love that, the Blunt. Yeah, it's, it's like fantastic. the perfect amount of donut, especially yeah. all the sweetness going on. Yeah, it's great for That's the uh, donut eater on the run. Yeah, I really appreciate you having me out here. Uh, this is fantastic. I feel like I need to go run around Town Lake uh, yes. and burn off the 9,000 calories that I just ingested. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I really appreciate you awesome. having us through. Yeah, yeah anytime, great. come back. Well, I tried over half a dozen delicious donuts. After all those calories, I think it's time for a run. Next time you're in Austin, though, come try out Voodoo Donut. Want to check out Voodoo Donut for yourself? Visit the link below to learn more. Stick around because after the break, we are turning upside down as we check out a place that's turning everything you know about yoga and flipping it on its head. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. For our next YOLO Texas adventure, we decided to try a new spin on your everyday yoga class. And when we say spin, we mean that literally when we check out Acro Yoga at Empowered Acro. This is Acro Yoga, the newest workout craze that's one part acrobatics, one part yoga, and 100% fun. We are in Austin, Texas. We're about to give Acro Yoga a shot here at Empowered Acro, and it's my first time, but what better place to learn than the only Acro Yoga school here in Austin? It 
combines the core and flexibility training of yoga with the teamwork and balance of a pair of acrobats. To get the lay of the land, I met up with the owner and one of the instructors at Empowered to give me a few pointers and to tell me a little bit more about the school. Okay, Katrina, so for anyone who's never heard of acro yoga before, What's kind of the breakdown? Why should someone get involved and try this out? So acro yoga is a combination of static poses and dynamic transitions. They're done with at least two people and at least one of them is off of the ground. And it's worth giving a try because it is as fun and accessible as it is impressive. I'm gonna introduce you to our co-founder here who's gonna be our lead instructor today. This is Chris. Nice to meet you, how's it going? You're just gonna keep your core tight, lean, and trust. He's got you. Okay. You're gonna step a little closer so he can reach your toes. Okay. And breathing together really helps. So you can lead with a big, loud inhale and exhale. Okay, okay. Acroyoga takes trust, communication, and confidence in yourself. Fortunately, my partner was pretty perfect for me. And that had me feeling pretty ambitious. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, I hope I look like a mermaid. Wow. Oh now it's your turn to base. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, sorry I didn't help you down the first time. And scoop up with the heels. Whoa! <laughs> Very cool. That was awesome. Nice work. Chin to chest, right ear towards right shoulder. And exhale, we're gonna swan dive. Nice, generous bend of the knees. And we're gonna hang here in a forward fold. Relax the neck, relax the jaw. Then we're gonna lift the chest and shoulders and stand all the way up, reach toward the ceiling. From here, we're gonna go ahead and move into our partner. Gotcha. Nice job, guys. I'm not gonna lie and tell you it was easy, but after a few wobbles and a couple false starts, I actually started to get the hang of it. Oh my goodness, they're making this look so easy, but it is no walk in the park. But it is fun. I got the hang of balancing pretty quickly, and it's a really good workout. Yeah. After that, though, I decided to quit while I was ahead. Alrighty, so if you're ever in the Austin area and you're looking for a different kind of workout, Empowered Acro is where it's at. Make sure to check it out, but in the meantime, I head back to the studio. Bye y'all. Want to learn more about Acro Yoga? Go to empoweredacro.com to learn more. Don't go anywhere just yet, y'all, because up next, we'll give you a sneak peek of some of the places Yellow Texas will be visiting next. We'll be right back. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So before we get to our sneak peek of what's to come, here's how to find out a little more information on some of the destinations you've just seen. First up, if you wanna check out the four-way bar and grill, just head up to Lake Hills near Medina Lake or check out the menu beforehand at fourwaybarandgrill.com. Or if you're in need of a sugar buzz in Austin, hit up Voodoo Donut on 6th Street 24 hours a day or go to voodoodonut.com. And last but not least, if you're in Austin and feeling adventurous, kick up your feet at Empowered Acro or go to empoweredacro.com to learn more. Plus, want a chance to attempt acro yoga for yourself? Well, check out our Facebook page for details on how you can win access to Empowered Acro's Level 1 series. And there are always so many fun and unique festivals and events going on all over the great state, so grab a family and check out one of these. We want to know where you've been, so if you ever want to recommend a place of your own or even be featured on the show, check out our website at yellowtx.com and follow us on social media. And if you're a fan of the show, you already know that we try to go above and beyond to find some of the best places for Texans to visit. And next week, we're starting to get into the Super Bowl spirit and checking out a Dallas destination that just might be the perfect place to watch the big game.
Okay, so at this place, playtime isn't just for the kids. Oh no, not only do they have pool and bowling and laser tag and video games, they also have stuff for grown-ups too, like a full bar and a menu that goes well beyond pizza and birthday cake. And I'm ready to jump right in. Hey! Anyone hungry? It's time for some putt putt in the dark. Shoot. Sorry, shoot. That's my name, bitch, place, Opa, Rock, and That's all today here on Yellow Texas. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook for even more Yellow Texas approved places and to send us suggestions of your favorite can't miss destinations. Until next time, remember, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you out there. So we're in Austin, Texas. We're about to give acro acrobatics. <laughs> okay, nose level, got it. Before I get my hands dirty and get a bite to eat, I think it's time. What did I say before? <laughs> That's how I normally play. I play with my body and not with my hand. Acro yoga. Acro yoga. Here we go. Three, two, one. We are in Austin, Texas. We're about to give aerial. But what better place to learn than the only aerial act? I'm getting it confused, bro. A shot here at Impact Road. Acro yoga. She's so funny.